How to get your next job. This is predominantly for the UK and contractors, but in all honesty, it probably works for most people out there. Um, this is how I do it. Now, I'm looking at going back into the UK for contracting work, and obviously you've got different types. You've got temporary, permanent, temp to perm, etc., etc. And I come from facilities management, surveying, construction, maintenance. So I have my specific niches. Now, one of the things I will say with LinkedIn these days is you can put a hashtag. And I've done a video this morning relating to something within my industry because I'm trying to get some of the decision makers, the main people on the companies, to actually turn around and say, oh, this guy looks interesting. That's part of opening the door for yourself um, because a lot of the decisions are made ahead of you even getting to the interview. Um, what do I mean? If you're putting just your CV in, that's just a flat bit of paper, it's got a bit of information, let's skim over it. Yes, no, yes, no. But if you're visual, like I'm pushing myself um, in YouTube videos and stuff like that and push that into LinkedIn as another medium, they know what you look like. They know what you're talking about. They understand that you know what you're talking about. But then you can put layers on that. The, I mean, like with agencies, one of the things I do is I'll join an agency, like say they have something they're advertising, because a lot of times they're not actually advertising the jobs that they're advertising, if you know what I mean. They're looking for you to go on their books. So the job's already gone or didn't exist because they want people with the relevant skills. So when you send it, get the email response, and often I'll have a name on it, call them and just open up with, did you get my CV? And then you can follow it on with, well, you know, I have the right experience, this is what I've been doing, blah, blah, blah. And then just call them once a week. So something as simple as that will put, you're trying to keep you at the front of the queue because they're getting CVs all day long. They're getting people call them up all day long, but it's all about the approach. The same with your existing network. One of the things I do is I keep in touch with people for years. I mean, there's people I know in my career path for over 20 years because you never know when you overlap. Um, an example of this is, for example, the work I got at Quillian last time. I had said I'd gone to the UK and somebody had put my name forward for a role. I wasn't even aware what the role was. It was the fact that they knew I could do the role and have a history of doing that type of work. So they put my name forward and says, Matt, have a read of this. Because they know where my skills are. They have a history with me working, so they, they understand where you're coming from. And that's what you're looking to do. You're trying to develop this system that works, you know, which basically is never burn bridges unless you really have to. Um, always connect with people, always keep in touch with people, even if it's just an email to say, how was your birthday and these sort of things, because a lot of time, people don't care. Um, I remember one of the guys I was working with, his wife had a bit of a health scare. Nobody contacted him. Yet, come Monday, when I had found out, I think it was on the Friday, I found out about it, but I knew he was at the hospital. So come Monday, I called him up and said, how's your wife? Any updates? Don't worry about coming to work. I'll cover for you anyway. You know, I'll deal with it. That guy still remembers that now. And that's that's the thing. A lot of it is about going the extra mile for people. Not because you're selfish or just out of it. I mean, I generally do this stuff anyway because I know um, being in a similar situation before, I couldn't get anybody to answer the phone and stuff where my mother was on life support and stuff and nobody would answer the phone or do anything. So that's when you think, I'm not going to be one of these guys that do this, you know, fair weather friends or whatever. Um, going the extra mile when people need it is what people want. 
they remember it, they respect it, and that's why you do this stuff. But ultimately, nobody is going to give you that job. You need to take it. Um, you need to put yourself out there. You need to focus on, is your CV looking good? If it's not, sit and spend a day on it. If your CV is not looking good and you don't know what to do with it, get someone else to rewrite it. I rewrite other people's CVs because I know them. So when they put, I've worked at such and such company for 10 years, blah, 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 they miss the fact that they can program CNC machines. They miss the fact that they've been on certain training courses related to safety. Um, there's a lot of specific skills that they will not bring up because they don't see it or think it's boasting or, you know, some people do not write well about themselves. Yet, it's those sort of things that identify a person from a flat sheet of paper. Putting yourself out there, putting yourself in a position that turns around saying, this is the right person for the business. This person is motivated, they're switched on, they want to help the business, they want to develop the business, they want to be part of something and make it bigger. Those sort of positive things companies want. Thanks for watching.